of course is Carlo. And yes, we've got a bit of um, it's big stuff going down today, uh, really. Um, I have got the HP uh, Z600 workstation on its way. Um, as you guys know from previous videos, I had an iMac 27 inch 5K Retina. It seemed to perform um, basically okay when I first got it. The first four weeks was absolutely fantastic. Um, but then I started noticing quite a bit of lag um, in the machine when I was editing multiple 4K files um, on a timeline. Um, I never had that problem before, uh, which was quite weird. Um, so it sort of started to worry me. So what I did was, um, like I said in a previous video, is to get a shot of the um, iMac and get uh, another workstation, which I have done. Now, I was looking through um, workstations, um, HP uh, ones. Um, I don't think I'd ever go for another brand apart from HP. And it was a choice of the Z600, 800 and 820. Now, I've got a friend that works in a visual effects studio. Um, he's worked on some big titles in the past, AAA titles. Um, and I said to him, look, you know, I've had an 820 before. I think I had an 840 for about two weeks. Um, and then it was bought off me by uh, another friend. Um, and then I went to, um, like, a gaming rig to use for video editing. Um, and then I went to the iMac 27 inch. I said, what, what, what do you think? Well, he turned around to me and said, you know what, Carlo? He went, I still use a HP Z600. I was like, okay. I said, well, wouldn't that be a slow machine? He was like, no. He said that machine is just as fast as the A20 um, today. Um, it's just still amazing. He said, why didn't you go for one of them? Because you can pick one of them um, up quite cheap now. Um, and it does the job fantastically. He says, as long as you max it out, um, well, he said, try to max it out if you can um, to get the, the best performance out of the machine you possibly can. Um, it's, it's a fucking, it's a monster of a machine. So. I was like thinking about it and I thought, yeah, why not? I'm just going to take his word for it and go for it. So I bought a Z600 workstation, HP. Um, and what I've done is I've upgraded the processors. When I bought it from the, the company I bought it from, they've put the best processors you can get for that machine inside it. There's 48 gigabytes of RAM in it, which is fantastic. Uh, the other uh, iMac was only running 32 gig. So it's got 40, yeah, and this is ECC, so it's unbuffered. Sorry, it's fully buffered uh, dims, so um, it's going to be a, the RAM's going to be a lot powerfuller than there is the ones that were in the Mac. Um, obviously, it's got ECC error correction code on it and all that. Um, graphics, we are going to be putting in the GTX um, Titan in there, 12 gigabyte. But what I want to try and do is have two of them inside the machine running in SLI. Um, because I've heard that, um, well I do know for a fact that workstations work fantastically if you're running to uh, uh, GPUs. Now obviously, you know, when you're looking at um, these sort of machines, Quadro cards are the best sort of cards to use um, in a workstation. So I may invest in a Quadro card, I don't know yet. Um, the, the only problem I've got is with the monitor. Um, I've placed an order on the monitor, but the monitor I want is 28 days for delivery. Um, because where I bought it from, it was out of stock, but I loved the monitor so much, I said, okay, I'm willing to wait for delivery. So I purchased the monitor, I'm not going to say what monitor it is, but needless to say, it's a really good monitor. It's ultra wide, I'll give you that clue. Um, but that should be here within 28 days. So now what I have to do is suffer um, with a, a really tiny, I think it's like a 20 inch uh, uh, TV screen. Um, just to get the buyer so I can get the uh, workstation up and running. So that's the only downside. I'm not really looking forward to working on a piece of shit screen. Um, but sometimes you've got to, you've got to do this. If you, when you're changing hardware, sometimes it's not all um, apples and roses. You, you, you know, you've got to make sacrifices. So hopefully, the great news is I ordered it yesterday. It should be here today, which is great. Um, I've got um, a tracking... Um, thing on the order and basically the tracking thing said it's out for delivery it's in my area and I should be getting it any time um, between now and later on today which is great um, the only thing I'm not looking forward to is 
having to install all my bits and pieces which is going to be a really long process and I'm not looking forward to that per perfectly honest guys um, yeah it's a bit um, it's long winded it really is um, the creative cloud's not too bad because you just basically obviously download creative cloud and let it download and install by itself it's other things like the Autodesk Suite, Foundry, they've all got to be licensed again I think I'm you know all my plugins and I've got hundreds of fucking plugins it's unbelievable all, you know I've got my little external hard drive there my one terabyte SSD external uh, which all my files are backed up to that's the only bit I'm not looking forward to setting it all up oh it's it's actually got Windows 7 professional um, on this rig at the moment so before I even start with any of that I've got I've got it to Windows 10 um, which is a bit of a it's going to be a long old day today I've got a feeling I've got this uh, music video production I've got to get edited, I've got all the files backed up um, I've got to start production on that and I've got to start doing the tutorials and videos on that um, but hopefully I might be able to get something um, to you guys, we'll start the tutorial process tomorrow um, but yeah, what I might do is as I'm working um, on the actual projects itself, what we can do is do the tutorial at the same time um, which I think should be pretty, pretty cool. So as I'm working, I'll screen record it and talk you through exactly what I'm doing, so on and so on. And it'd be more interesting, I think, than showing you. Because basically, this would be, you know, I've got to have ideas of what I want in the production, how I want it to look, you know, grading, so on and so on. So I think it'd be exciting if we start off with one video, music video, we stabilise it, we cut it, we do what we need to do to it, you know, we, we put visual effects in it and what we do is we use, you know, Premiere Pro, we use auditions, uh, we use After Effects, and we use Proxy, uh, Workflow, all of that in one video. So I think that would be really, really cool. So we'll definitely do that. Hopefully we might be able to get cracking tonight on it, um, but I'm thinking more than likely it's going to be tomorrow because like I said, I've got all these installs to do and that's going to take hours and I'm not quite sure what time today my workstation will be here um, it might be here in the next hour it might be here by six o'clock this evening I'm not really really sure uh, what time it is it will, sorry what time it's going to be here but yeah hopefully when it's here um, I can switch the camera back on um, and show you it and it'll all be good yeah I'm quite looking forward to it actually um, after I ordered it, I spoke to my mate again. I said, listen, I've ordered it. And he was like, you won't be disappointed. It's, it's a seriously, it seriously crunched you through everything you need to to do. 4K, 6K, 1080p. As long as it's, made, you know, you've got a good configuration. Because what, what it is, right, there's a lot of workstations that are uh, quad-core. It's not very good today. Quad-core is not very good in this day and age for video editing. Yeah? Um, it's you need you need two processors, and hopefully I'm hoping Premiere Pro and stuff like that utilising cores, which they should do, because I've had a multi-core PC before, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, and I'm just rambling now to the camera. I'm just rambling to you guys now, which is weird. I'm actually just staring at the window to see if a parcel force false van um, is going to pull up with my workstation now. But yeah, it's, it's exciting. I'm really excited. I mean, this machine is more slimmer than the, the A20, uh, which is great because I have the iMac. You can see it's all clear now. I'm trying to um, get it all clean and ready for it. Um, the, the workstation is going to go here in the corner. Um, hopefully that looks good. I've had to put one of my monitors up there because basically I don't want the, the workstation on the floor because I've got two dogs um, and dogs uh, shed fur. Um, even though to place a vacuum two or three times a day because we are OCD in this house. Um, I don't want any fur getting into the front front of the case or anything like that. So the workstation going here, the temporary TV slash monitor crap thing that I need to use is going to sit on here for now. Um, it's not going to be a finished complete setup until the ultra wide monitor is here. And then when the ultra wide monitor is here, I'm thinking the workstation will be about this, this I don't know if you can see this here, about this deep so it's not going to be very deep this monitor speaker will go up the top there where it was before uh, when I had my tower and then I'm hoping the um, ultra wide will fit in there I doubt if it will 
um, but I might have to sort of have it coming across like this at an angle, which is, might be a bit of a pain in the ass, but I might have to put the workstation on the floor and have um, the speakers here. It, I don't think I can even have the speakers here, to be perfectly honest, because the ultra wide is <laughs> very big. Um, so I think it's just going to fit into this gap here. But we'll see what happens uh, when it turns up. So hopefully the next time you see me um, on video um, will be the starting of post-production on these music videos, which would be great. Um, and I'll give you a quick look at the workstation um, when it turns up, which would be great. Um, and I'll do it in this video. Um, yeah, and then I'll do a little bit of setting up. Um, and hopefully all should be good. Um, yeah, we should be good to go after that. So, um, yeah, next next part of the video, obviously, if the workstation turns up, you're going to see it in the next part of this clip, in this video. If it's not here, then obviously this will be see you in the next video. But, yeah, let's just wait and see, and hopefully uh, it will be here. So, yeah, we'll see you in a second, guys. Okay, look what's just turned up. Oh, let me just lift it up here. Oh. It has arrived. Um, it's currently about quarter past five in the evening, so fucking all day waiting for this thing. But I'll just quickly unbox it in front of you guys. Um, so we can get going with it. Oh, yeah, all day I've been waiting in on this. Turns out I was the last delivery. Which is not very nice, is it? Sorry about the space, I'm going to try and do this the best way I can. God, they laugh at the package, I tell you. So this is a, Z8, a Z600 workstation. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to put this on the floor guys, so I can lift it out. Ah, very well packaged, I must admit. So what's in here, probably some cables, um, I should be able to get to the handles. And here we go. There you go guys, sorry about this guys, phone call. Okay, I don't know if you've been watching all that, sorry I've just had a phone call from the wife and we have a display cable but we don't have no um, power cable which is stupid really, so now I have to hunt around the house and pray I have a spare kettle lead so I can use my bloody computer. I should have one, I should have loads, but they have provided a display out and hopefully I've got an adapter for this one as well because there's only a um, quadro card in here at the moment but it seems in pretty um, amazing condition um, obviously it's a, it's a re-serviced machine let's just let me just bring you a bit closer guys okay I'm going to slow the tripod I'll make sure I can get it in focus for you guys there you go. So yeah, pretty tidy, I'm just about to have a look to see what hard drives. We've got one terabyte hard drive in there, which is cool. And I've got another one terabyte hard drive, but there's no sled for some reason. 
um, in here. It's not a problem, do you know what I mean? I got, I got this machine for a really good price anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to look for a um, power cable and hopefully a HDMI adapter because like I said, I am running this off a TV. I will be. So um, I don't know how I'm going to get this 500 gig hard drive in here without a sled. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to order another sled um, online for this. Um, got quite a few SATA ports here, which is cool. Yeah, it's not bad actually. So what I do is um, I'm just going to get, that's not in properly, I'm just going to get the relevant uh, leads for it. Um, and then we'll go from there really. So I'll catch you in a second. Right, so I'm all set up. I managed to find a power cable. Bit ridiculous it didn't come with one of them, but the machine is pristine, which I'm very happy about. Um, it had one um, drive bay missing. Not a problem, I can order one of them off of uh, eBay at any time. Um, but yeah, fucking, I'm installing Windows 10 now. Um, and from the point of the last part to this, it's literally taken me 10 minutes to find a lead and hook it all up and now 50%, 15% on installing Windows 10, but check out that shit monitor. Now you see what I'm saying. Look at that monitor, guys. I've got to go three weeks with that. Needless to say, um, sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. At least I can get everything installed now. Maybe do a bit of editing on it. Um, hopefully get some stuff done. Um, but yeah, it's um, installing uh, Windows 10 like I've just said. I've just put, it had a one terabyte hard drive in it. I've just put inside it, if you're interested, another 500 gig uh, Seagate hard drive. And I've put a uh, 500 gig SSD. So Windows 10 is going straight onto the SSD. And then once I've done that, I'm going to format the main hard drive that's got uh, Windows 7 on it. Because it already came with Windows 7, which is one terabyte. And then I'm going to use that one terabyte along with the 500 gig as um, basically backup storage. But yeah, it seems to be working all right. It's got a couple of marks here. Um, but yeah, it's a workstation at the end of the day. And it should be quadrillion times better than that iMac um, that I had. So, um, oh, I put the Titan graphics card in there as well. I should have showed me doing that. Um, do apologize about that. Um, but plenty more videos will come on that in the future, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I put the Titan in as well. I've hooked it all up to this TV via uh, HDMI, which is cool. Um, yeah, now that like I've just said, I'm just installing Windows 10. Hopefully, um, it won't take too long because I've got so many programs to install um, on this system. Um, it's unreal. Not everything's plugged in yet. Um, I'm not plugged in the Scarlet 2 2 yet um, and some of my main stuff. Thing is, I'm going to wait until I get the new monitor before I, I totally connect everything up. Um, perfectly. I think that's the best way to do it really. I don't really want to um, start cable managing and everything like that until the, the proper monitor's in there and everything's set up. But I'm quite surprised actually with the actual size of this workstation because um, my Z820 came out to about there so it was a lot thicker than that and a little bit taller as well so yeah, this should be really, really cool to work with, and let's just see how we go with it. So, as always, guys, thanks for listening. Um, like I've just said uh, earlier, um, we will be jumping into the uh, post-production visual effects um, and colour grading on um, music video, or the uh, making a music video series, shall I say. Um, hopefully I can get that to you guys for tomorrow, um, or maybe the day after. I'm going to try and get it for you tomorrow. Today's Sunday. Uh, sorry, what am I talking about? Today's Wednesday, um, the 6th, so I'm hoping either tomorrow the 7th or the 8th um, that series will be available and uploaded. I just need to get all this stuff sorted. Um, I was going to sort of do it all off camera, but I thought this might make for quite an interesting video for you guys. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy. Um, we've got uh, 12 cores of two Xeon processors there, 24 threads, fantastic. We've got a 12 gigabyte um, GTX Titan graphics card in there. We've got 48 gigs of RAM. We've got 500 gig uh, SSD. We've got a one terabyte um, Seagate hard drive. 
and we've got a 500 gig Seagate, Seagate hard drive as well. And on top here, I've got another 500 gig SSD external storage as well. So yeah, as always guys, thanks for listening. Um, if you have enjoyed this uh, video, a like rating would be appreciated and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.